the century farm is a designation given by the state of North Carolina to farms that have been continuously in operation by a family for over 100 years. The family that originally owned the farm was the Forney family. Right now it's in trust and it's going to be handed down so we can be caretakers of this property. And it's been in continuous ownership and operation here since 1846. And there's only about 1,800 century farms in North Carolina right now, and the numbers are diminishing. I've always hated the fact that a lot of the trees went to landfills. There was just no value to them because, so, you know, you look at Europe, Europe doesn't have as many trees as we do, and there's a reason why a thousand years of, of population growth and cutting them down. So we need to preserve and caretake what we have now. I started off with a Lucas mill and decided to convert the Lucas mill into a dedicated slabber. A slabber is something that can handle really large, unusual trees. That's where I got the idea, well, I could sell these larger slabs. There's only a handful of manufacturers of these in the United States, take urban trees, tree cycle them into something useful. The process was fascinating, just to go from a standing stick of timber to an actual usable product that's used in your home. And since wood products are pervasive and used in all aspects of our existence as humans, we use some kind of wood product at some stage, at some point. Our resources, although they're renewable, they're finite in the time frames are given, in the sense that it might take a lifetime to get the resources back if we cut them all down and use them all at once. And when you stop looking at it as exerting dominion over everything around you and, and being a part of something bigger, then you've got responsibility. You put on your kick gloves and, and, and maintain it. You're looking beyond your existence of being here and saying, uh, well, I want this preserved for other people too because I enjoy it so much.